Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. The excavator is finishing now, but as soon as it's done, it's gonna tell me it needs power. So why don't we just go ahead and give it power? Right about like that ought to do it. Ah, this thing is gonna give us pretty much the endless supply of concrete we've been waiting for. Let me go ahead and get a big concrete storage put in. And I'm gonna put it in kind of over here, I think. Now, nah, let's just set it right here. It's next to a scrubber, everything will be fine. Okay, so this thing's gonna produce 50 concrete per soul. And it just it's just gonna do it without even needing a deposit. With its big pink scoops, look at these things. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like when you're playing Skyrim and you're you're modding the game, or really any like Bethesda game. I guess it's probably any game, but and like you have mods installed and stuff, but you forgot to install the textures, right? And so it's just it's just pink because there's no texture file there. Kind of it's kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, okay, idle extractors. Let's take a look. Oh no, our rare metals are going away. Uh, so these two are empty. There's no reason for them to exist anymore. There's no more deposits, which means this is the only deposit we have over here right now. I guess this one is still a thing. Yeah, for a little while. But most of our rare metals is coming from the molehole. This is just going to keep pumping them out. Yeah, 28 per day. It's kind of ridiculous. And we are shipping them out on the space elevator continuously. So I don't know if we're going to run out of them. I may be able to... I don't know. Should we turn off exports every once in a while? I guess we'll have to see whether or not we're using them too much. It doesn't look like we are yet, but with those two rare metals, ex like Earth -sick colonists. five more Earth sick. Like I have almost 1,300 colonists. Five people being Earth sick is not a concern. I have uh, only one more of these working over here in this little area. This was a really good deposit. This was my deep metal one. So we'll see how well that. Like, what kind of a difference that plays. Let's go ahead and expand that. Now, I also have a ton of money. $16 billion. So here's one thing I do want to do as well. Now that we have a huge amount of living space available... What was that? I heard something shut down, I thought. Maybe not. This covers this. I don't care about that. Uh, since I have a whole bunch of money, and I have a lot of extra living spaces, here's what I'd like to do. First thing, whoops, uh, let's go to resupply. First thing I want to do is buy a rocket. Yeah, because I've got 16 billion. Now is a good time to buy a rocket, so we're going to do that. I can also import things from the space elevator. But what I'd like to do with this cargo rocket is tourism, if possible. So let me go ahead and filter. Uh, is that it? No. Let me go to quirks, tourist. 82 tourists are now available, okay? So, we're gonna have a rocket. Did I just... No, I did. It's fine. We're gonna have a rocket now that has a ton of tourists. So, what I want to do is... Let's say that... Is this gonna automatically take the tourists if I do that? Will they be... Yeah, it looks like they are... I'd like to have a purely tourist rocket if I could. Sexy tourist, 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 tourist. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to get a whole bunch of these tourists brought in. I guess sexy geologist is okay, too. Mostly, I'm just looking for tourists, though. So let me just click a bunch of them and get them in here. Rather have people that are not, like, really bad traits, but... Okay, let's launch this one. Now, I just want to do it, just to have them. And I think I'm going to bring them... Uh, I don't know about that over there. Maybe we have a, la a landing pad over here for these domes. Since these are pretty empty right now. We could. I was kind of put... I was going to put another dome here. And then we also have to build the mega dome still as well. Because that is one of the... We've done all the mi all the mission goals, but that's one of the milestones right here. We're going to construct a mega dome. Also, 40% workers in workshops. Hmm. Now, that's an idea. 
a workshop dome. I don't even have the research for workshops done yet. Art workshop. Consumes polymers. We should put some of these in the in the queue here. Core metals, that'll be awesome. Mega Dome is on the is on the schedule. But I think I wonder if this rare metals extractor production being increased affects the mohole. I wanna say it doesn't, but I don't know that. Launch magnetic shield. Let's add that to the list. And then we can also improve performance of things too if we amplify. Actually, I want to do this one first. I know we're almost done with core metals, but we don't need the metals right now. Or do we? Or do we? You know what? Let's just finish it. It's 80% done. Let's go... Yeah, you know what? Let's do the, the art workshop. We'll put that on there and see what that does. I don't think I've ever used the workshops before, so that'll be a cool thing to try out. What's our total loss right now? 0.77. That's not bad. It's it's going up per soul. In fact, in 15 souls, it'll be 100% atmosphere, and we'll have breathable air. As long as we don't drop in uh, waste rock, which we're not. We're actually still growing in waste rock. Are low. And now there's no reason to ever uh, hold that thought. 14,000 in storage. Well, we do have some pretty big things we've installed lately. It is sucking up a lot of power. So why don't we have another another Sterling farm kind of put in right over here. We can go... Yeah, I think we'll put another Sterling generator farm kind of like here. We could try that... Uh, we could try the nuclear fusion if you want. We could go for it. See if that helps us at all. I still think this is way better, personally. But if you can automate the fusion reactor, then I suppose it's, it might be better. Because it would be cheaper to make the fusion reactor than it would to make all these. But this is giving me a lot more power. Fusion reactor gives me 300 for a building. This is going to give me, I believe, 30 each. Now that we have that other breakthrough done that improves them. Or is it 25? What is it? It's 30. So 30 each, and this will be, well, just do math and count. I'm not going to do it, but this is a lot more than 300, put it that way. Toxic rain for one soul? I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, what? Why do we have a toxic rain? Did it happen because of the planetary thing? It just prompts it automatically anyway? Without it... Without, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's how it works. Oh, well. Disease. Your attention is required. Oh, boy. A uh, virulent disease is spreading in another colony. A stolen rover arrived from the infected colony of Space Y. A colonist and a child in protective suits are holding hands in front of the airlock of one of your domes. They look scared. Our colony is in chaos, they say. Please let us in or send help. Uh, we send medical workers to help contain the outbreak. We lose 40% of our medics, but we have a plus 25% standing, or plus 25 standing. We seal the gates, establish quarantine. All of our colonists will lose five morale uh, for 10 souls, and we lose 25 standing. We accept some refugees under strict medical supervision. We gain 20 colonists. 10% of all colonists get chronic condition. Ouch. Absolutely not. And then if we're Japan, we send drones operated by our medics. We lose two drones and 10% medics. All colonists gain five morale for 10 souls. Why do we lose the medics? If we're sending the drones, why are we losing the medics? You know what? It's okay. I'm going to do the Japan option because it just sounds cooler. So there you go. <laughs> I like how pretty much everything regarding Japan is robotics. You know? I think that's awesome. But with the space elevator doing its thing continuously like this, I can afford another rocket if I want to. 
or we can just bring things down from the space elevator. There's no reason to ever send a supply rocket anymore. So, like, kind of whatever at this point. Um, let's go with... Oh, it looks like it's way cheaper. It looks like it's cheaper anyway. Maybe I'm just seeing things. We'll just send a hundred of these. And a hundred of these. Can we actually do that, Benny? Oh, wow, we can. Yeah, let's just do that. Launch it. And it'll arrive very quickly, too. And then they'll just get distributed around the base. Let's also make sure we have... Let's say a machine parts depot here, just because... And also... An ele electronics depot to be placed up here. And also over here. Also just because... Research complete. Core metals is done. So I need to figure out where that's where those metal deposits are. But I'm gonna do the VR workshop right now. Because it sounds awesome. We could also try for some smart homes, but I feel like they're just not necessary. Uh the microgravity medicine could be okay. Maybe we, you know what? Let me do this. Let me just get the dozer. Just because I want to see what it does. I want to see what it looks like. I want to just, I want to use it. So we're just going to do it because of that. Domes cost 50% less basic resources. Meh. Workaholic traits, okay. I mean, it's actually great, but like whatever. Extremely rich water, extremely rich water deposits is cool. This one's pretty cool. Obviously, the oval dome is boss. We have a delivery on the space elevator. Yes, we do. Lots and lots of stuff coming in on that. And we could do pretty much whatever we want now. Oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. Let's do a quick polymers depot here too. And the, the goal here is at nighttime, I don't want to have any power deficiencies. Capture ice asteroids is another special project. We could send a rocket on that. Uh, never mind. We already have one in orbit. You know what? We can get another rocket because I want to. There you go. And then we'll just send uh, a passenger rocket down with all these tourists and stuff. That's fine. Go ahead. This rocket is ready to land. Let's put the tourists over here. Let's grab a... Yeah, I don't need a landing pad. It's okay. We'll land them down over here. Mm, this ought to do it. The tourists can hang out in these domes and have a good time doing touristy things and paying us a lot of money. The capture ice asteroids thing is done. It said be ready to deal with a Mars quake. Doesn't look like we had to actually deal with that yet. 46 buildings not working. Why aren't you connected to power? I forgot to connect you to power. My god. What am I doing with my life? You too, huh? Wow, I thought I put you right next to it. Apparently I didn't. Well, that'll that'll take care of the construction for all of these projects when it's available. Let's grab uh uh most likely we'll want to have let's just do a universal for now. We don't need fuel here or rare metals yet. We'll see what else we can do here. Research complete. Okay, dozer rover's done. I'm gonna send a supply pod, and I want to send one of these dozers. I just want to see what it does. That's the only thing this is gonna send. Eh, you can send some polymers with you too. Why not? And a couple of drones, cause it's cool. Okay, go. We're gonna land it over here just to see what it does. I might end up making this a big lake. I kind of like the geology here of it, but a big lake would help me with my forestation. Forest vegetation is definitely the thing that that proceeds the slowest, in my opinion. Everything else, you can kind of spam the things that do that. But vegetation, it seems like it it's not as easy to spam it because you have to spread out, right? Like atmosphere, you can put everything in one spot if you want to. The magnetic wave stuff can be put in one spot. It doesn't matter. The lakes, you have to spread out. But, I mean, you could feasibly put them all in one big spot and just let it go up over time. I probably should get another lake, though. As much as I like this, I should flatten this. 
and then put a lake here instead. Kirito has nothing. He's just going to land. That's fine. Here you go. And then same thing with Asuna as well. Uh, we'll just land her over here instead. The Eternal Summer, an orbital crypt cryopod sanctuary for the filthy rich. And they the just get to sit here. And that's it. That's all they get to do. Have fun being filthy rich. Colonists are departing. Are those the the tourists or the earth sick people? Looks like the earth sick people. Well, that's okay. Goodbye. You don't have to be here anymore if you don't want to be. Forest station. Let's put you in right here. That sounds lovely. And we need lots of polymers. There we go. We should see these be built very quickly now. Let's open them up. Get them upgraded. It's so bright outside now. I don't see any major problems with... Well, we got a toxic pool over there, but... I mean, they, the pools don't seem to show up where I really care about it more the most. And then, like, is it okay to have a breathable atmosphere before you have adequate temperatures? All right, let's uh, let's land this over right 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 here. I want to see what the dozer looks like. <laughs> All right, RC dozer. Let me see what you do. Works on landscaping projects significantly faster than drones. Can transport waste rock that is used for landscaping tasks. Okay, I'm gonna put you on auto and see what you decide to do. And it looks to me. Like, I want to... I'm going to leave this. But I want to start a landscaping project and see if it goes way faster. How about right... Mm. How about right here? We'll do another lake. Let's say I want to do a flatten operation right here. And then somebody told me I can hold shift... And then just like do that in different shapes, which is like, that's fine and all, like cool. <laughs> all it does is make it take longer, but it's cool. I get why you say it. I get, I get why you're telling me to do it though, because you're seeing me do things next to each other. But one of the reasons why I was doing this, this isn't a response to a comment. One of the reasons why I was doing it this way, in small increments like this, is because it's instantaneous. If you keep it small enough, right, it doesn't cost you any time. It just happens automatically, even without drones nearby or anything. See, this in here, this one here I would have thought would be just, just be done, but it's not. Building malfunction. Are idiots in this dome? No. So it's just a, just a malfunction then. Alrighty then. Let's put a universal depot over here. There's not enough. There's nothing stored here for these guys to get. I think that's the reason why these guys are not getting this fixed. Same thing with uh, the, the scrubber here. It's supposed to be installed a long ass time ago. I don't think it's necessary anymore. It's been too long. Well, there's another set. There's almost 700 metals left here. It would be nice not to have to go through, like, 20 machine parts. And this is only going to cost me, like, five electronics to have. So, I think I'd rather do one electronic per cycle. Although, this is in... Nah, this is going to need two. You know what? It's not a, it's not a big deal. I'm going to need two scrubbers to cover those. Whatever. We could maybe have it work here. Like, this one goes out here, covers this, and then... Yeah, that could be a thing. Let's prioritize that. So, I can stop having to do maintenance on that stuff. All right, Asuna, you look like you're ready to lift off. And I think I want you to do this instead, though. I'm going to send you on that one. Uh, who else? Kirito, you are here. Let me get you on resources. Not really. Looks like I can't do any more planetary stuff. Yeah, I can't. Okay, well, I can send you back then. That's not a big deal. Or I can put you auto on tourism. 
Is that something I can do? Rocket will repeatedly travel to Earth and back. It will land on the same spot and won't carry any imports or passengers from Earth. The rocket will launch to Earth when the cargo hold is full and the rocket is refueled. So this is just this is just a way to this is just a way to continuously export stuff, which I'm already doing with a space elevator, so I don't need that. Unless it was tourism, then that would be okay, but I think uh, I'm just going to have you launch. So goodbye. Let me open the rest of these. Also get the plutonium core installed on them. Yeah, bring on the power, baby. Free power. Gotta love it. Let's amplify these for water. And then we're probably going to need to suck some more water from the grid because eventually we're going to run out of these deposits because these things are starting to work a little bit harder now. And I believe there's a deposit really, really rich right here. Yeah, very high grade and also 20,000 water. If we can work this pretty quickly, that would be amazing. Let's put a drone hub here. And then we'll also put another Universal Depot next to this. Another Mars quake. Wow. Probably going to have four buildings damaged every single time that happens, too. I'm going to drop you guys there. So this one malfunctioned. And this one. So it's not always going to be the other buildings. But this stuff here is going to malfunction a lot because they're all really so the moral of the story is i guess to have don't don't put these things next to each other have them be spread out have them be really far away from other things in your base like if i'm gonna build another one i would probably build it way out here and then i just need a drone commander to come out here but even then i still have to maintain it you can't just throw things out there you have to maintain them as well it's not necessarily the easiest of tasks. Now, this is mostly lichen. I haven't been building anything. I haven't been doing any trees or anything here. And I don't know why. I guess it's because the, the soil quality isn't that great. Because I don't see trees growing here very right now. A lot of seeds. Uh, how's my shuttle hubs doing here? Did you guys get your... Yes, you did. Cool. I'll reskin you. I've been reskinning them once they have a full load. It's a way for me to visually know whether or not the shuttle hub is at full capacity or not. Hmm. Interesting. We don't have people working here anymore in the ranch. Are we dropping in food? No. We're doing really well. Let's get rid of this ranch. We don't need it anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, no. It just recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just recently popped food. We just have no more places to store them. Well, we shall get a very large food storage area then. And we, should, we shall place it uh, over here in this little open area for all to see. Bask in the glory of our food storage. Uh, I don't really want to mess up that tree. Here we go. That'll work. Food storage three machine parts and 12 metals. And I bet it just fills up really quick. I bet the drones rush over, grab all the food, and just throw it all on that. I can get rid of this depot, actually, because we have so much more space for this now. It carries 4,000 food. My goodness. That's a lot. Let's come over here. We can make one of those for over here, too. In case we're full. I don't think so, though. I like to spread my resources out instead of lumping them all together. So, sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where we have all of our food stored. And it's also hard to tell kind of sometimes whether we have a surplus. So, I'm going to go and just put a big food storage down somewhere. Our drones can can see it pretty easily and, and move it around where it needs to go. Yeah, I'm just going to put it right over here, I think. 
That's okay. And then another one can go over here just to kind of keep it in this area for the rest of the, the domes. So let's put it... Uh, received. Where is it? Storage food. Let's put it right here. It's going to get in the way of that tree. I don't want to get in the way of the trees. Can I put it here? Uneven terrain. Oh, there. That's fine. Yeah, that puts it all in the... That makes it accessible by all the domes. Uh, what am I going to do with this spot? I was thinking of expanding and doing another dome this way. But now I'm thinking of a farm here instead. Just for, you know, vegans to have their way, you know? What if we do an open farm here instead? Blocking objects. Gross. Wait, this doesn't have to be in range of a dome. Oh, of course not. Oh, of course not. Hey, that's an interesting thing. We could put it way out here if we wanted to. I don't really want to mess up these trees. Right here would be cool. Blocking objects, though. It can't go here. I guess the soil quality is just bad. We should really consider coming off of this one, too. We can actually fill the Hawking Institutes up. Yeah, like that. I don't know why I wasn't doing that already. Because I'm a dumb, that's why. We should have more living, living spaces in here. And I'm thinking they need their needs met here as well, most likely. Because there's not a whole lot here. Yeah, drinking, gambling, relaxation. Gaming is a huge need for these guys. I'm going to remove the pond. And give them instead an electronic store. But there's a huge like there's a huge gaming need here, so that's probably not enough. So how about we get another little dome right here? I think so. And we could put a lot of their other needs in here. We'll have to come out from this pond into here. But it'll it'll be all right. And then we can put in another scrubber. Let's say another scrubber right here. And that will cover everything. 91% atmosphere. It does tick down sometimes. It goes up at double the speed that it drops, though. And we should get we can get more of those magnetic field generators, too. We have another one here. Takes 10 metals maintenance. I would like to get rid of that if possible. You're not being scrubbed either. Let's see about getting a scrubber right here. Yeah, and then we can do one more out this way, and that will stop maintenance on, on this. It also gives another target for the Mars Quake to affect. I would really it not I would rather it not affect the molehole mine. The church is offering 303 food for 50 machine parts. We will send 50 machine parts for 303 food. Why do you want to do that? Cuz you're out of machine parts, right? Uh well, that sucks to be you then. I have a lot of food though. Thanks though. No problem. Uh, are we sending one soul 17 hours? We're still doing that. Okay. 68% on the water. I mean, I could probably put another. Well, once I get this built, is this drone hub done? It is. And these are built too. They just need power. Let's go. Let's power it up. And then over here as well. And then there. Okay. Everything's got power. Expand the service area, please. Oh, you don't have power. That's a problem. The problem solved. Okay. So that's going to be a ton of water. Two extractors on a very high grade resource equals we can totally afford another lake. 
So how about we grab one more lake? I want a huge lake. I'm going to put it over here. Because I can. Actually, bulldozer. I love this, though. I really like these. I wish I could use these. But I think in the end, I'm going to have to flatten it. Because it's just kind of the way it works with this. So, bulldozer. Yes, I'm going to use the shift button. You're welcome. Ah, <laughs> uh, like this. That's a lot. Research complete. Make it happen, please. Now, this should happen automatically, right? It, it doesn't need me to bring the resources. It should happen automatically because of our breakthrough. Breakthrough. Let me read this again because I had some comments about this and I want to get to the bottom of it too. Landscaping projects progress without the needs of drones, without the need of drones, but are generally faster. They still need the resources though. So I think it's because we didn't have the waste rock in range. That makes sense to me. Uh, what else? Sh speed increase on the shuttles. I don't know why I don't have that already. And then, uh, you know, we could go to an artificial sun. I mean, just, just to do it, right? Oh, here we go. S unlock seed vegetation and proves... Wah, 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 wah. Seed vegetation. I should do that. Melt polar caps. I'm not going to do that right now. It's just not worth it. We're already we're super close. So it needs the waste rock. That was what we were missing before, I think. This is a low-grade resource. Well, we flatten this, and then we put more domes out this way, and we get lakes and all sorts of stuff. We've got lots of, like... I, I am doing little lakes sometimes, too. It's not all about the big lakes. Sometimes I'm doing the little ones as well, right? So, like, we put little ones over this way, for example. It says it's too far from a drone commander. Which is a little bit disappointing. Disappointing, to say the least. Wait, is that does that work? That works. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure where the pipe's coming from. It could come from here. I think I'd rather go like this. It's a little easier to deal with. And then this is a regular rain, which is very good for us. I can move this to here. Wait, domes without life support. This is a brand new dome. It's okay. Let's grab the pipes. We'll connect them on this side. And then electricity. I mean, all that stuff's actually going to get connected with the, the pathway anyway. This stuff has to go. It's going to be in my way. We'll replace it with a universal sitting like over here. Maybe a couple universals sitting over here. We don't need fuel over here, but we can have everything else. It's okay. All right. So what we'll want is to remove this fountain. And then we'll take the passages. And we just go like this. Why can't I do it here? Oh, that's not actually a spot. You can put it. That's a shame. Because it seems like it would fit right there just fine. But, alright. Alright, we'll go like that. That'll connect these two up. And then we can have even more stuff happening over here. We'll want to have Casino here. Because they have the gaming need we want to solve. So there's that. And then the security station. I suppose we'll do that. Um, let's grab dining services. This will be mostly just a place where... I mean, we can have people living here still. Right? We can go arcology. But mostly this dome is services and comfort and things. So that everybody remains super sane, super sane over here. And we'll go with, like, a couple of statues and a fountain there. That's okay. And then how about we do a grocer? Uh, where is it? I never find these buildings, man. Grocer dome services. Like that. We do a small art store there. And then let's give them a space bar. 
We can also follow this up with an open air gym as well. And then probably another diner. I think dining was still a need that I never fill very well. What else do they need? They wanted medical, which is kind of okay. I guess we'll do an infirmary here. And then the last piece will just be like a garden. There we go. So this will provide the comfort that these guys might lack from being over here. Electronic store is pretty expensive to maintain, but we're doing amazing on all resources right now. So that's kind of... Uh, that'll kind of do it, I think. I'm going to leave this episode just a little bit shorter this time. I mean, it's still like 36 minutes. What could I do in 36 minutes? We could take a look at the excavator. Or the, the dozer. Where's the dozer? What's it doing? Yeah, yeah, I want to see you work. Let me see the professionals at work here. What's going on? Waiting for resources at construction site. Are you waiting for... Waste rock, I guess. Funding received. We're just going to have to wait. Uh, maybe another shuttle. We're actually... Mm, we're really tight on fuel. We should get going on that. Now that we have that other... That really rich water deposit. We can get going even faster on fuel now if we wanted to. We could go like... Uh, Probably right here. Do we fit? No. We fit here. Uneven terrain. Yeah, whatever. It's it gives it character. I'm alright with it. Uh we could put it right here. That'll work for me. There, and then another one here. So lots of fuel being made over here. And we'll just make sure that it's all hooked up to the power grid. Oh. That's not even power there. Right. Okay, well. We'll go like that then. I don't really care. And then this can go like that. And then are all of these upgraded? Or are there still some that are not? You know what? We'll find out later. Do you have all 12 now? You do. Let's reskin you. And this lake is having water drawn out. It's fine. Completed the... Completed capture asteroids. Excellent. Almost 75% water. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that will give us sustainable mixed trees. Hell yeah. That's what I want, man. I want all those other trees. And we're almost there. Just a little bit further to go. And we'll start getting all these things doing that. There's not a whole lot happening here in terms of polymers on these veget- it's like, it's, here's the thing, like, I got I got drone hubs in range, but we're just not providing it with seeds because I don't have the seed shuttle, uh, the seed depot nearby, right? So I still gotta do that. And then I think same thing over here too, let's make sure that we can actually put seeds in these things. Because the, the Universal Depots, I don't know why they had that oversight, but the Universal Depot does not take seeds. That's unfortunate. I feel like it really should. Let's come all the way over here. Oh, I can't land you there. Okay, well, we'll land you over here then. All right, there's fine. Almost 95% on the atmosphere. We should make another magnetic field generator. Where are we putting it, though? How about... How about right here? Why not? How about right here? Why not? Because of uneven terrain. I really don't want it to get it... Oh, here we go. Oh, I like this. I like that. We'll put it there. Although, is it really a good idea to have a magnetic field being generated near people's living spaces? Maybe it should be over here instead. Some place where people aren't actually living, I think, is probably better. Right here ought to do it. Right there. How about like this? We bring this out to there. Excellent. The waste rock has no place to be stored. I can solve that problem, too. And then I need to up how many drones you have so that they can do everything. 
And away they go. Funding received. Oh my god. Almost $2 billion in funding. Just on and on it goes. We're super rich. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. When we come back, we'll have more magnetic field generators, probably. Let's go ahead and just uh, control-click that. Amplify all of them. Why not? And I'm also going to have this flattened. We'll maybe tap into that water source. Maybe we'll get into these concrete. Don't really think it's necessary. Although this one's a really nice one. Uh, we can expand the dome even more. We only have 13 homeless people in our entire colony. And a lot of that might be in transport or like in transit. You know, if, when they're currently sitting on a, on a shuttle, they're considered homeless. And they're also considered jobless. And uh, I'm not allowing births right now. I might want to turn that on on a couple of domes. Like here, for example, we'll turn it on and then maybe... You know, maybe in these new domes here, we could turn it on. Actually, they already are by default allowed, so there we go. Just as long as we're still taking full advantage of these. Yeah, we're not actually full in our kids' dome, so we can work on that too. But there's lots of stuff we can work on. Another lake is here. A breathable atmosphere is here. We did it. <laughs> Oh, okay then. Yeah, baby. That's amazing. There we go. I keep wanting to end the episode and things keep happening instead. Planet habitable. Your attention is required. Since the founders set foot on Mars, we have dreamed of a day we could tread freely upon the red sand. Today, this dream has finally manifested into reality. Go out, fellow Martians, breathe in the Martian air, and be proud. We are now able to open our domes and rely on the Martian atmosphere alone to provide the oxygen and warmth we need to survive. If opened, domes will no longer require an oxygen supply and will become cheaper to build. However, if conditions worsen, we stand ready to seal them up again. It's interesting that they can just seal them up again. Well, I, we're gonna do it. Let's just do it. Oh boy, there we go. Look at that. They are open. All the domes are open now. And there's trees around all of them. Oh, it's a party, everyone. It's a party. We have 80. We have 80 extra oxygen. <laughs> yeah, we don't need oxygen production anymore. Look at that. Where? What happened to the glass? It actually looks kind of, kind of weird, doesn't it? Without glass. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna turn births on. <laughs> uh, this is cool though. Hey, this is this is really cool. Okay, well that's the end of the video then. We have our domes are open. Mars quakes are also still a thing. And I don't know what I don't know what buildings are damaged because this little notification doesn't let me zoom to it. Guess I have to go to buildings not working. Oh no power in this. That's fine. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. So much more to do still. I hope you'll join me for the next one. Bye-bye.